Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. This is going to be a mail opening video. I did a doll trade. This is my second one that I've done so far as being a YouTuber and everything. And I did it with someone who I have been friends with on YouTube for a while. He sent me a subscriber package and he's been a subscriber for a long time. And I got a package, we did a trade, I did one before with um, Sunny and Lola, which was another Wonderful Dolls channel. Um, they haven't posted anything in a while, but they are a wonderful channel, you should totally check them out and subscribe to them. But you should subscribe to Aiden, that is his name, because he has an awesome channel too. And we did a trade, and the video of what I sent him should be on his YouTube. But I have a package here, and that's from the trade, and I have scissors, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm very excited. He did send me pictures of what would be in here, so I do already have an idea, but I didn't get, like, a close look. And also seeing a doll in person for the first time is always much more exciting than in pictures. So... I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to open the package. And by the way, if you guys are interested in doing any doll trades, I'm all for that. Just make sure that they're dolls that I'm interested in trading. And we can totally arrange that. I'm always scared of opening a package. I'm scared there's going to be like dolls at the top that have like long hair and I'm like cutting their hair off as I'm cutting the box open. I'm so scared. But it's most of the time it's fine. Okay, almost have it open. And the funny thing is, is, I think that this is the box that I sent his package to him in. I think because he got my package first, and I think he packed it in the same box. Because I think this is the same box as I had, I remember. But I have the top open. And the first thing I see is a card. And I'm going to go ahead and open that first. It says, To Janie from Aiden. And it has a very awesome star on it. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. I hope I don't rip it. I am notorious for ripping poor envelopes. Okay, let's see here. I am so bad at opening envelopes, it's not even funny. Just packaging in general, I always completely destroy it when I open it. But I did a pretty good job with this one. I only ripped it a little bit. I'm sorry, I ripped your letter. Okay. Ooh, what a beautiful card. It has butterflies on it. That's so pretty. I love it. Okay. Ooh, and there's some light cutouts. These are neat. There's like, they're like stickers. There's like a heart. I can put this on my water bottle for ballet. And a watermelon. And a pineapple. And a really cute, they're called Pick Me Pops, I believe. I've never heard of them, but they're really cute little characters. And the note says, Hi Janie, it's Aiden. Thanks for the doll trade. I hope you like your dolls and have a great day. He cleaned them up with fabric softener and he fixed up their hair and then he says to have a nice week. Thank you, Aiden. I am so excited to open it. So it's wrapped up in newspaper and I can kind of see what's inside already, but you can kind of see like a bunch. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first doll is right on the top. It is a very, very beautiful Project MC Squared Michaela McAllister. Now, I adore Michaela. I think that she is amazing. I love Project MC Squared dolls in general. My MC Squared shelf is right here. You can see the notebook sticking out. I don't know if I have this one or not. I can't quite tell. But either way, I am very excited to have her. I'm always happy to have MC Squared dolls. She does have clothes on. She's wearing this little crop top with these shorts. I think these might be her original shorts. And a shoe. She only has one shoe, but that's okay. I always save the mismatched shoes or the shoes without matches just in case I ever find one. But she is very beautiful. I love Michaela. She's got a very beautiful face. Her hair is in really nice condition. It's very soft. It doesn't need much work at all. And I'm going to go ahead and take the newspaper off the top. And here's some more dolls. I think there's more in here than what we talked about. I think he gave me a little bit of something extra. There's a lot in here. Oh my gosh! Look at how cute! Okay, so it's a little bag. It's a very cute bag. It's pink and it has um, like butterflies on it and like silver and he has a couple of little things inside there's a really cute little bird kind of looks like floppy bird and there is a cup of coffee I think that's what it is I don't know what brand it's from I can't quite tell um but it's very cool it's got like a gold sparkly lid and okay I think this is one of the Disney pets I think that this is Aurora's pet it's very cute I think it's a dog maybe it's a cat yeah I think I can't tell. I think it's a cat. Could be wrong. Cat, dog, cat and dog. I don't know. But she is very, very adorable. 
I think she might be like a Rora's pet or whatever. And there's a bunch of dolls in here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. There's a little necklace on top. I think this might belong to a Monster High doll. If, I could be wrong, but I think it might belong to Skolita, just from looking at it. I have no idea. But that's just the vibe I get when I look at it. But we have a very beautiful Barbie fashionista. She is wearing this really cute lip jumpsuit that I know belongs to another fashionista. I do have this um, the doll that belongs to this dress, so I can actually reunite them with their clothes, so that is awesome. She is also in very nice condition. She has her hair pulled back in a ponytail, and she is also only wearing one shoe, but that's okay. It's very, very beautiful. She's got a really nice face. I do think I have this fashionista already, but I really don't mind if I get duplicates because I can always like customize them, and I do not mind having twin dolls. It just means that the other doll gets to have some company. So I'm very excited to have her as well. There's also a few pieces of accessories in here. I think these belong to Monster High dolls. I could be wrong, but I think these belong to Monster High dolls, judging by the size. I can always use more doll clothes, so I really appreciate that. Ooh, and there's a Disney Descendants doll. I think his name is Ben. I'm not quite sure. But he is wearing a, what I think, I don't know if this matches, but the pants say lifeguard. It probably belongs to Ken. And then there's this top. I don't know if this top belongs to him or not. Um, I think it might, because it fits him really well, and there isn't any, like, tag on the back that says Barbie. So I think this might be his top. I have no idea. I'm not super familiar with Disney Descendants doll, so if this top belongs to him, let me know, and if not, then let me know. And here is a doll head. I think that this is a Barbie Fashionista Swap and Styles head. I think it's like the sporty one or whatever. She's really cool. I can always find a body to put her on. And speaking of bodies, there are a couple of body donors in here. There is a fairy Barbie body, I think. Um, I'm going to check and see if these... The skin tones don't quite match but that's not a big deal I had can always use parts I do not mind getting Barbie parts and there also is here there's a Chelsea part um, I don't know to which Chelsea because it's just the body it's not the head but it does have a silver stamp on the back so I can type that in and figure out which Chelsea this belongs to um, I do not have any Chelsea heads but just in case I ever find just a lone head for Chelsea laying around then I have the body donor for her and there is a Tinkerbell Periwinkle in here who is very cute I do not have this one I do have a Periwinkle but I have the Disney Store one and this is a Mattel one I believe and I'm very excited because Periwinkle is one of my favorite Tinkerbell characters I always liked Periwinkle and I liked Fawn and Silver Mist I liked those the best I thought Vidya was Vidya and Silver Mist were the prettiest but I always liked you know, those ones, those characters. I also liked the pirate fairy, too. I don't remember her name. Is it, like, uh, Zarina? I don't know. Something like that. But she is very, very pretty. Her hair is super gelled, but it's supposed to be that way, and her little Hershey's Kiss hairstyle. And she's got a really cute face. She looks like Tinkerbell with her sisters. And there's also a Ariel in here, and I do not have this one. She is a very pretty Ariel doll. I think she's made by Mattel. She's got a very, very beautiful molded top on that has a lot of detail. It's got lots of glitter and like a purple shell. She is very cute. She has a very sweet, innocent looking face. Ooh, and there is a shirt for a Barbie doll, which is very cool because I can always use Barbie clothes. And the shirt is very nice. It can go with a lot of different things, which is really good. I really like that shirt. And then we have a, okay, I think this is one of the Dragon Games Pixies, or it's one of the, um, what are they called? Yes, I think this is one of the Dragon Games Pixies. Because it's either that or the, like, the Epic Winter dolls, but I think that this is one of the Pixies. She's really cute. She has her hair done in two little pigtails, and she's wearing this dress. I don't know if this dress belongs to her or not. Um, I think it does because it fits her and it has, like, reindeer and stuff on it. I don't quite remember what her name is. I keep wanting to say Hairlo because she's supposed to be like a bunny. But she is very, very cute. She's in really good condition. It's obvious that he cleaned these dolls up before giving them to me because they are very nice. And they have been cleaned up in a wonderful way. They look really, really great. She's very, very cute. And we have four more to go. We have, she, I have lots of stuff here, which is very amazing. This is Barbie from Swan Lake. Now, I do have one already, but like I said, I can always use more. If I ever get duplicates, 
please don't worry that I have it already. It doesn't matter. I can always use it for something. There's never really any doll that I can just not use it for. Even if they have cut hair, they could always be a candidate for a reroute. Or if they're like beyond, their face is beyond saving, I can always use their body. Or like whatever. But she is very cute. She has her hair done in this high ponytail. She is wearing Barbie and a mermaid tail Merlia's shorts. And she is not too bad. She's pretty good. She looks pretty good. She's very, very beautiful. Thank you, Aiden. You sent me so many dolls that you didn't show in the picture. You gave me so much extra. Thank you so much. And there is also a Mattel Cinderella here. It looks like she's like one of the ballerina ones because she comes in this like ballet skirt with these soft ballet shoes on. These We call them flat shoes or soft slippers. And um, she is very, very pretty. She has her hair done in a ponytail with another one tied around the bottom of it. She is very cool. I do not have any of these Disney dolls so far, so that's very exciting. And of course they're made by Mattel, so they're not technically like Disney store dolls, but I still do appreciate them and I love them. This one is missing a little bit of her eyebrow, but that's okay. You know, I can always like hide it with her bangs or something, because she is beautiful. We have two more. We have this Barbie doll, who I don't think I have. I could be wrong, but I don't think I have her. Your dolls smell really good, Aiden. <laughs> but we have her. She does have some marks on her face, but that's okay. I can easily remove them. Her hair is a little bit greasy, but that's mainly because the newer Barbies had a lot of grease problems. And she is wearing a wonderful pair of skinny jeans, which I love a lot. They're very, very pretty. Ooh, wardrobe malfunction. Ruh row. How embarrassing. Okay, let me fix your, your top there. The top she's wearing is um, a... 12 Dancing Princess Genevieve top. I'm just going to take it off because it's not going to stay. And it does have the sleeves cut off, but I can always use it because it's still usable. It's very pretty. It kind of looks like different with the cut off. Like, I like it a little bit, like, new and different. Okay. And here are the pants. These are really nice, um, like, brown sparkly skinny jeans. They're really cute. And, yes, here's the doll. I don't know who she is, but I don't think I have her. So, that's pretty great. There are a lot of Barbies that I don't have, surprisingly. Okay, so, ah, the crown is falling off. This, you need your tiara, darling. Okay, let's see here. This is a gorgeous tiara. Oh my gosh. This is a really pretty tiara. That's beautiful. Wow. I don't know if this belongs to Aurora or not, though. Either way, it's gorgeous. And I do definitely do not have this Aurora. She is stunning. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down. Um, oh, sorry. She is very pretty. She has her hair done in a high ponytail with her, the rest of her hair swooped to the side. And she has really nice hair. Like, I can tell that she's going to clean up really nicely. She is very, very pretty, as you can see. And she is one of the Disney Store ones. And she's pretty new because she has, like, the flat feet. Um, I learned from a subscriber that whenever, you know, the Disney dolls have flat feet like this, it means that they're newer. Um, but she is really, really pretty. I do not have one with this face. She's in really nice condition. She's really clean. And that is the whole entire thing. Aiden, you gave me so many more dolls than I expected. Thank you so much. It's really nice of you. I really, really appreciate it. But I'm going to do a doll count real quick because I'm not even sure how many I got. You gave me so many. Thank you so much. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Seven and a half makes it eight. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Eleven and a half <laughs> plus these two adorable little animals. The tiara, the necklace, some little clothes like the shirt, the two Monster High skirts, the Genevieve customized tube top, the coffee cup, <laughs> things are falling everywhere, and then I got a bunch of really cute stickers, and then the little bag that the animals came in, and a beautiful card. Okay, I'm going to set all this stuff down real quick before I make a mess. Ah, things are falling. 
So, I really, really appreciate it. I had so much fun doing a trade with you. It took us a really long time to get this trade going because of this whole COVID-19 situation and just life in general. And, you know, I, we were quarantined just like everybody else. I haven't left my house in like a month except for once. So, it's been pretty crazy, but I am making do with the time. I still have school and dance and everything, but I do have a little bit more free time. So, I was able to upload and edit and film more videos for you guys and also catch up on some free time. Finally, don't have much of that, but I have had quite a bit more in this time. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and subscribe to Aiden Eck. And if you guys want to do trades, like I mentioned, I'm all for that. You just have to ask in the comments, say, hey, I'm interested in doing a trade. And then I'll go, cool beans. Let's do it. But yes, comment below if you enjoyed it and to identify any of the dolls that maybe I wasn't able to identify. And like the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!